In this video, I'm going to talk about the four types of age, chronological, biological, psychological, and social. The first is chronological, or your legal age, and this is the number of years since you were born, and it's very straightforward and uh, doesn't require much interpretation or anything like that. But it's also not as relevant as we may think. Apparently, in lifespan psychology, this is probably the least informative factor for learning about an individual. One uh, more extreme example I will give about this is this girl who had a mysterious condition where she didn't really age past a certain point. And uh, she looked like this at age 20 when she passed away, God rest her soul. Um, and obviously, though her chronological age was 20 years, her psychological, social, and um, biological age were not at that level. So it would be, um, it probably wouldn't be the best way to describe her would be using the uh, using her chronological age if you're trying to learn more about her as a person so next is the biological age and this is your biological health health and um, the functional capacity of your vital organs is the main way that this is measured and so if you have a young biological age then you're expected to live longer because your organs are healthier and here are just some uh, examples on how uh, organs can age I guess uh, if you're a doctor, you'll know more about this, but here it looks like the um, the vessels aren't getting to the edge. It's a little bit smaller, the kidney here and here. During vigorous exercise, the heart is really working very hard and isn't pumping, is much larger than at a young heart. So that's a biological age. Psychological age has to do with your mental adaptive capacity, um, the ability to learn, ability to remain flexible, motivation and thinking clearly as you... The, the idea of a senile old person comes from the idea that as you get older, your psychological age um, might diminish. I don't know if that's actually the correct, but let me know in the comments if you know if that's how it works. But basically, psychological age is the way your mind is developing. Um, and so while these ladies uh, might have a, a, uh, a high biological or chronological age, Clearly, their psychological age is uh, is much lower, I'm guessing, since they seem to be <laughs> just, that's the impression I get. And the last, uh, the last of the four types of age is the social age. And this has to do with your social roles and connected with this with other. And an estimate of the person's capabilities in social situations based on what would be the norm. So um, while someone might be developing uh, psychologically and biologically very well, uh, perhaps they're genius, uh, psychologically speaking, but socially they uh, haven't, that part of their, their person is underdeveloped, and this can, so this is another uh, aspect of a person's age that you can uh, consider separately. And I think the best example of uh, social age, or to remember social age, is Mr. Dos Equis, because he doesn't always age, but when he does, it's chronologically. I hope this was helpful and uh, peace and God bless.